four years ago, there were quite a lot of people who said to me, you won't be able to create homeopathy research conferences these days. So to see 250 people here this time in Rome, it really is a demonstration that homeopathy research is thriving. It's fantastic to be here in Rome. Not only Rome, also in the hotel. And uh, I was very astonished at, about the atmosphere. Approximately 250 people from the very beginning uh, up to now. Um, the plenary is full. There's no open seats and the atmosphere is uh, encouraging. Uh, sometimes as researchers we are in, in the edge of our own rooms and uh, think about what, what are we doing here. But uh, such a conference is something like a boost. Yes, we are working and working on the right way and in the right direction. Let's go into a bit more detail about the Shang et al. 2005 paper. It set out to compare 110 homeopathy trials with 110 matched conventional medicine trials. Heralded by um, The Lancet, where it was published as the end of homeopathy. He made a huge splash at the time, and since then has been used repeated, repeatedly as the, you know, the proof that homeopathy doesn't work. However, it's only one of now six meta-analysis of homeopathy, and it's the only one that has come up with negative results. Well, there's a large-scale study done in France called EPI-3. This is nearly 7,000 patients, basically comparing patients who attend homeopathic general practitioners, family physicians, with patients who do not, who attend conventional family physicians. Uh, so large scale, and they've got three cohorts. Uh, one is muscular skeletal, another is um, um, upper respiratory tract infections, and another is uh, sleep and psychological disorders. And the main difference that the treatment per se makes is that it reduces drug use. Well, the first study that I did was in Nicaragua on childhood diarrhea. And I did this as part of my master's thesis. The results looked promising, so the next year I went back with my research team uh, and we did the larger study, 81 subjects, randomized placebo-controlled trial, uh, individualized homeopathic treatment of children with acute diarrhea. And fortunately, uh, the results were positive and the study was published in the conventional journal Pediatrics. This conference is quite interesting because there's a fair amount of time that's devoted to provings. And um, provings are an interesting part of homeopathic research. We just started as biologists in the laboratory, working with plants, working with frogs and then being invited to homeopathic meetings and people told us, well, this is interesting for homeopathy. Because here we, can see we have to think about that, uh, for example, biodynamic agriculture is more or less based on uh, homeopathy because uh, several remedies of uh, biodynamic uh, approach uh, are quite similar to homeopathic treatment. The people I've met over the last few days and the conversations that I've had I really think we have a very special group of people here. So thank you for coming and thank you for making it such a great few days.